Sad but not surprising, President Cyril Ramaphosa appoints uh, Acting Chief Justice Raymond Zondo as the official Chief Justice of South Africa. Uh, Raymond Zondo was up against four other candidates that had to be interviewed, being Dunstan Mlambo, Mbuiseli Majanga, and Mandi Samaya. What's very sad is that the JSE, the JSC, sorry, the Judicial Service um, Commission or Council, had recommended Umandi Samaya as their preferred candidate for Chief Justice. Sol Ramaphosa actually missed out on a very huge chance to appoint the first female, first black female Chief Justice in the country. What I do know for a fact is that if Umandi Samaya had taken on the position, not much had changed, would have changed. She's not much different to a, an old white man, purely because the seat that she occupies is constrained by the constitution and by the, the, the space and the rules and the system that we have. We saw a Chief Justice Mkhweng Mkhweng, who had very alternative, very extreme ideas and visions for the country, but who was also constrained and confined by the same systems. One of the things that's been said is that you must always follow the right channels. And the people that say that say that because they know precisely that the right channels are always biased in their favor. It's very sad and it's almost taking the JSC uh, for a boost that Ramaphosa didn't take their recommendation into account. And he on his own decided that if Chief Justice Raymond Zondo or acting Chief Justice at the time Raymond Zondo becomes the Chief Justice. We saw Raymond Zondo uh, being the head of the Zondo Commission where amongst others Jacob Zuma was jailed for contempt of court where Sil Ramaphosa had been implicated by various people, especially from an ESCOM perspective, and Raymond Zondo had treated him with very soft white gloves. We saw as well that uh, the guys at NASPERS, who had also, just like Jacob Zuma, refused to appear at the commission, nothing had been done to them. But we saw there was a huge attack on Jacob Zuma, and we've seen the reporters come out, I think the three-part reporters come out, and again, there are no links that Jacob Zuma was actually captured by the Guptas. A lot of other news came out, some of them being that Sir Ramaphosa's son, Andila Ramaphosa, had benefited from Bosasa, which is deemed corrupt, and Sir Ramaphosa's campaign itself uh, had benefited from donations from Bosasa. We still haven't seen the bank statements of uh, Sir Ramaphosa to see who had funded him, number one, and also there had been rumors that Osiril had actually, or Cyril and his people had funded certain judges and that the judiciary has been captured. So Cyril and his funders and his people are very happy with Raymond Zondo because of how he treated the entire Zondo commission. Like I said, very sad but not surprising what's happened. There's rumors next week that we will no longer be wearing COVID masks, which is quite exciting if it comes true. I do believe that COVID is the greatest scam of our time. But of course, your leaders will never say it because they've been captured by the WHO and because they've been captured by Big Pharma. Hope you guys are well. Feel sorry for Umama. Um, I think she would have been a huge boost to, to all females in the country, to females in the legal fraternity, and it would have been, in effect, a new dawn for South Africa. Unfortunately, our constitution is still very much captured, still very much biased, and in close to three decades, close to 30 years, we have still not seen fundamental, fundamental justice for the black people that were oppressed under apartheid. We haven't seen enough land being moved. We haven't seen perpetrators of apartheid being jailed. And unfortunately, the economy of the country still rests with a small elite who are beneficiaries under apartheid and who we saw have captured your political leaders, either through BEE shares or some other advantages, board seats, etc. So that's the country we live in. Remember to, where you can, take the law into your own hands. What that means is don't break the law. It means, but just become politically active, become legal active, understand your rights, become a responsible citizen, read up on how these things work. Where possible, fundraise with your family, with your community, set up stock files, pay lawyers, set up a civil organization like Afri Forum, um, and see if you can fight back for yourself. Ask yourself, who is the chief justice in your family? Who is the authority in your family where when things go bad in the family, this is the person you trust to ensure that things go right in your family? Pen you all the black pen. Hope you'll have a great Friday. Cheers.